It's got a lot of power. It sure does. You know, it's funny because I never thought that we would be reviewing vacuums. Oh, Andy, I've reviewed so many Dyson vacuums. And the reason why, there's so much tech that's built into these things, it's worthy of being reviewed on tech. And that's really what I really like about Dyson as a company. They really reinvented the vacuum. And like you said, there's a lot of different tech. For start, yeah. you know, it's called the Dyson Small Ball Animal. And for a reason, on the bottom, just over the head here where it, all the suction happens, is it's on like a ball, almost about the size of a bowling ball. Yeah. And that has some great advantages because I can see if I just get up here for a second, yeah. you can pivot it and go into different angles really easily because it's rotating off the ball. Mm -hmm. And it can be compact. And this is the compact version of their vacuum lines. And it's really catered towards condos and apartments or any place where you have small space with both carpet and hardwood. Well, that's the thing. In such a small, compact unit, I like the flexibility that's built into it as well. And this has got to be one of my favorite features. You can actually detach the, um, the handle and pull it right off. And then if you look behind here, it's got a, a tube that actually extends out. And what you can do is just reverse the handle, make a small adjustment, and attach it. And now you've got um, a device that allows you to get into areas around the house, like maybe cobwebs up in the ceiling, you know, or just cleaning blinds. And again, it comes with a number of attachments. That's one thing Dyson is always known for. You can put all these different kinds of attachments on that let you um, basically change it for the purpose that's intended. Exactly. And it's great for people that really hate dust. And it's hard to, like you say, hard to reach areas, say on the top of a shelf. With this handle, you're able to get up into those hard to reach places to, to clean them and clean the floor as well, and all in the same device. Yeah, and so, uh, but we gotta talk about the actual core technology that's been built into Dyson that really makes the difference. And you can see here, they're using the Cyclone tech, uh, technology, Cyclones I should say, but they've got the two tier system in here as well. So because it is powered by the electricity that you plug into your wall, um, they can actually afford to put a couple of these um, Cyclones in, which really drive a lot of suction power. Yes, and basically it's using a Cyclone, just like you're in a natural environment where it's spinning around and around and around and it does it so fast that it can catch really a lot of small particles. Everything goes into a canister like this and by pressing this red button on the top here you're able to take it right off and then there's a little handle on the back that you push down that allows everything to come out so that you put it underneath the, say a, your garbage can, press this one button and everything just drops right I got out. a feeling you're going to drop the dirt so that I have to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you know me well. So I'm just going to press this button over here. Oh man. And look at all this. I made all this mess here. But that's okay because AJ is a, is a neat freak and I'm sure he will clean it up once you put it back in. Before we do that though, this is really important. A lot of people with vacuums, AJ, they don't wash the filters. And a lot of people don't even realize their vacuums have filters. So on the front, you're going to see a filter button. And what you have to do is you press that to dislodge the top. And inside, right in the middle of the canister, is the filter. And it kind of looks like a, I don't know, what would you call that? That looks like a filter, like a coffee filter, but a little bit longer. Exactly. And so what you would do with this is you just put it underneath the tap with just normal water. Yeah, running. You run the water, you clean it up, and then you can put it right back inside. Let it dry for 24 hours, That's put it right. back inside. But the great thing is that all Dyson uh, that I've reviewed have that filter, and it actually takes out a lot of the particles in the air and removes things like dust and germs and, and some of these micro, micro um, particles. And it's a, it's a great solution for people that have asthma in your home. This is what you would want to get. And this is one of the reasons why you would want to invest in a Dyson, because it's going to clean the air and clean the floor, and clean your blinds all in the same device. So I'm gonna fire it up. Okay, let's try it out.